Another myth, uh, these funds don't perform in poor economic conditions. I mean, it's probably the most common accusation that's levelled uh, at these funds. They haven't been through a full economic cycle. It's worth pointing out there are some funds that are relatively new. Yours is your wholesale fund is seven years old and you're an ex-banker. Uh, there are some of these funds that are much younger and aren't run by bankers. Um, but that's not the case for you. Um, what's your experience in tougher economic times and what's the experience of the fund? The, the fund ran through the whole COVID uh, experience. So obviously that was an extremely disruptive timeframe for, for every business um, in, in Australia and uh, more broadly globally. Uh, we also had a technical recession at the back end of 2022. Granted, not a deep one, mm -hmm. uh, however, a technical one. Through that time frame, uh, our fund performed well. Uh, so the lowest monthly distribution was 60 basis points. So note, we still maintained a $1 So even amount. during that, that trough in economic conditions, and I remember it, out of COVID, we had something like 4 million people unemployed. Mm. The, the low point was a 60 basis point repayment that month. That's correct. Right. That's correct. And if you're looking at, you, you mentioned, I come from a banking background. Um, we look at risk in a very bank-like way. So when we're looking at our underlying portfolios, we're using long timeframes of data to stress test our portfolio. So uh, as, as an example, we're, we're currently using over 50 years of bank and non-bank data in the stress testing of our portfolios. Uh, so whilst we haven't run through a, a deep and extended recession as a fund, we explore those downside scenarios with deep and, and long history data. And, and I've been asked this question by several people. Presumably, we would see a recession coming. Um, and if we saw a recession coming, number one, investors could redeem if they wanted to, if they were nervous, they could do that. Um, and alternatively, you're managing who the money is re-lent to as it's being paid back. So as you're recycling that capital, presumably you've got a methodology for deciding whether to extend further credit. How do you go about assessing that? Right now is a, a, a really interesting case study. So we're seeing lenders with a lot of applications coming through. However, the approval rates have gone down because the borrowers are not necessarily meeting our criteria. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, we, we filter at the, at the front end and, and that's a frustrating time for the lenders. Um, you know, they're, they're inefficient um, in 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 their, their approval rate right now. Um, however, that's enabling us to retain an, a high quality book.